Welcome. This is 49G5 and this is absolute potential energy and absolute potential near a point charge. So here we're not looking at potential energy differences or potential differences. We're not looking at the change between two points or looking at the change by taking a charge between two points. We're trying to ask ourselves what's the potential at this location in absolute terms or if we put a charge there what's the potential energy in absolute terms. Well, okay, so the electrical potential difference between two points near a single charge is, we did this before, it's delta V equals KEQ 1 over our final minus 1 over our initial. And the trick is, what we say is, well, let's imagine going from infinitely far away to this point. So if we imagine we have a positive charge, so we have the volcano, rather than going from one point on the edge of the volcano to another point on the edge of the volcano, what we do is we go from infinitely far away to that point. And if we say, well, infinitely far away, the potential is zero, then we get the absolute potential. So we say uh, delta V equals KEQ, one over our final minus one over our initial. Let's imagine we start infinitely far away. One over infinity goes to zero and it disappears. So we say, if we put the far point at infinity, we find the absolute electrical potential of the near point. So it's V is equal to KEQ over RF. And of course, if we want to find the uh, uh, potential energy, the absolute potential energy, we just simply multiply it by the Q, the little Q we're going to put at that point. Notice, please, that these things fall off as an inverse relationship as opposed to a field or a force would fall off as an inverse square relationship. So there's a difference in the symmetries there. Um, if I try a couple of examples of this. What is the absolute electric potential at a point that is three meters north of a two meter positive charge? So this is two positive, and then we have a point, and this is three meters to the north. It turns out that the direction doesn't matter at all. So we have, okay, uh, let's have a look. What is the absolute electrical potential? So V is equal to Ke. It's going to be the mother charge over the distance from the mother charge. So this is Ke and this is plus 2 over 3. So this would be plus 0 point, say 0.67 or 66 Ke volts. It's positive because it's near a positive charge. And in this next one, a 5 Coulomb positive charge is located at the origin. Let's imagine the origin. And this is a 5 positive. Uh, what is the absolute potential en electrical energy, electrical potential energy of a 2 Coulomb positive charge located at 3? Well, remember we use X, Y, and Z. So this is one, two, three, and then this is one, two, so there's one set of coordinates, then it's minus one, so we go inside by one, inside by one, inside by one, inside by one, so my point of interest is going to be here, so there's my vector, and this is a 2 Coulomb positive. So we have a 5 Coulomb positive here and a 2 Coulomb positive there. And I know the vector between the two. And so I say, well, V is going to equal, this is potential energy, I'm sorry, 
u is equal to ke, the mother charge, the daughter charge, over the separation. So u is equal to ke, it's going to be plus 5 times plus 2 over, and now I've got to work out this length, and I find this length used in Pythagoras, of course, which is the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 1 squared. And there's the most common mistake. People will say 3 squared plus 2 squared minus 1 squared because that last coordinate is minus 1. But it's Pythagoras, so we're adding these. So it's the square root of, it's the addition of minus 1 squared. So this would be 10 ke over, well 3 3's are 9 plus 2 2's are 4 so that makes 13 plus minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 so that makes the square root of 14. And again in, in my class I like people to bring it to a, a, a final value. So this is going to be uh, 10 divided by second square root 14 enter and I'm getting 2.67 so this would be 2.67 ke and the units are going to be joules 2.68 I've got down here positive sign on that so knowing the equations not so bad there we have it